Hi everyone, this is Mohit and welcome back to Engineering Tech Up channel. So in this video, we will discuss what is your roles and responsibility in your automation testing profile. Suppose you are a manual tester and you are you are planning to switch in your automation, right? So in the last video, we have discussed how to switch and all, right? But here, what you know, you are working in the manual that responsibility if you want to in the switch in the automation then what you have to speak in your interview and you are doing the preparation then you have to follow the same thing you not only you have to speak in the interview you have to knowledge and you have to prepare well okay so let me tell you what is your roles and responsibility if you will join as an automation test engineer okay so suppose you are showing three year experience okay in automation okay you are showing three year experience in automation so generally we follow agile process right we have a agile agile process we follow right we follow the agile process so basically in the agile what we have we having the in the agile we have a two week sprint right two week or three week a sprint we have okay so what happened you are you you are hired for automation test engineer only means you are only doing for the uh, automation task right so in the two week sprint i am going to tell you for three year of experience if you are showing the three year of experience and you are going to join in mnc okay so for three year what the job and what is your roles and responsibility will get in the agile you will assign for the automation cut right so like you know so manual like we have in the already manual testing manual we have already manual manual test cases okay so we have already manual test cases right so this manual test cases you have to automate using the framework okay so here you will have a existing framework okay existing framework you have okay so by using this framework you have to automate this manual test cases okay so you will get here we have a two week sprint so as per the complexity of the test cases might be you will get two two card card for automation okay okay so your a sprint is going to start from today right you have to started your sprint today got it right today your sprint is going to start and you have a two manual card Okay, this I am going to give you the example. It totally depend upon your test case com complexity. So, what do you have to do? What is your job? First of all, you have to understand the. You have to understand the requirement. Okay, I am not going to write everything. Okay, so you have to understand the requirement. Without understanding the requirement, please do not start your automation work. Okay. Otherwise, you will stuck in the middle. You have to know the manual flow very well. Then you can start to do the automation. You understand the requirement. Then this is your framework. Okay. Then in the framework, you can start to do a script development. A script. okay so you have to learn very well framework otherwise you will be stuck here so in the script development you know i'm not going to explain here the framework i'm just going to highlight your roles and responsibility in this video okay so here in framework like your script development is completed you have completed you have completed a script development okay after after a script development you will do execution in your local if everything will work fine then you can push your push your code in repo okay might be you have a git okay 
when you will post your your uh, code in your repo then you have to create a pr okay? you have to create a pr so here whatever the uh, script you have developed like you have developed this uh, script right you have developed this uh, script so like this is the first login page login okay after uh, script development execution is completed we we'll push the code in the git repo then what happen then the stakeholder will review your code okay review your code the question will who will review your code either your team lead is there okay tl is there or your manager is there your some stakeholder is there means clients is there this guy will give you some review comment okay review comment again it will come to us and as per the review comment we can modify our uh, script okay so we can modify our uh, script okay then you will modify after that again you can push your changes changes in git repo got it right you have post your changes in git repo again it will go for review if everything will work fine then we can merge merge in master branch so this is one role and responsibility i'm going to tell you okay this is the one scenario where you can get this type of the task okay let me show you another scenario okay so this is like uh, if you are showing the experience around 3 year so this is your uh, this is your you have to do in roles and responsibility okay might be you are showing the experience 5 year or more than 5 year okay so you have uh, another task to framework design framework design or framework development okay So once framework design and development will completed, I mean it will go for review PR, right? It will go for PR. If you are getting any comment, you have to do the changes and all, right? You have to go in the PR. If you are getting any changes, then you have to do uh, these changes. If once means you have to keep the your POC, right? POC proof of concept. Okay. Once everything will work fine, then this is your means framework is ready then again a script development will come right execution will come right so this is all integration with jenkins okay this is what you will get if you are showing around five year of experience this is another task okay another task is what we do for the execution right like you are the resources you are doing manual and automation both okay so in this case what will happen framework is already developed a script development is already completed here we are doing regression okay so in the regression if you have a, any change in handout we can run the regression suit like so whatever the framework whatever the our automation suit we have once you will run this automation uh, this automation suit then we can we can check report okay in the report you will get fail and pass okay so here you have to analyze the failure why this test case is going to fail either we have a script issue or or we have a defect okay you have to verify manually as well when or you can check the screenshot and you have to verify if it is a defect you can raise the defect to the developer you can assign to the developer if you have a script issue then you have to fix and you have to read up so this is what the task and what is your roles and responsibility you will get in your project as per the requirement you have to do okay 
so hope so this video will helpful for you guys what is your roles and responsibility in your automation testing profile still if you have any doubt you can comment below and again thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to uh, you know uh, subscribe my channel and press bell icon thank you so much in the next video bye bye